All right, guys. Hey, listen. Uh, just a quick video here on a hanging hair test. So this is a follow-up video to the live uh, Facebook feed I just did, where I took a gold dollar razor with a 12k edge, which admittedly already had a really good edge on it, and uh, took it to a, um, a blue thuringian, and uh, did a couple of circles followed by X strokes, and uh, you know took it to my strop and really just wanted to test to see, uh, test to see how you know how good is the edge at this point and what might i expect from my my shave so i have a, a hair here that i picked from my wife's brush and uh, here's a hanging hair test so i did i don't know 30 40 maybe 50 passes on my uh latigo strop and uh you can clearly see the hair here and this is root end out between my my thumb and forefinger okay and whenever i test to see uh, a hanging hair test Boom. I mean, I touched the edge and it just flicked right off. Really silent. I mean, you get a silent slice on a hanging hair test, almost guaranteed you're going to have a great shave off of that razor. So here we go. On the edge, applying some pressure. And again, it just slices right through. So, I mean, I would expect nothing but great things from this edge. You know, there's a lot of guys that put no value into the hanging hair test. And there one that, that one actually pinged a little bit. It caught and then pinged. But that was a silent slice right there, right at the heel. I mean, so when I do a hanging hair test, I want to put about an, an inch to a half of an inch over the edge of the blade and leave myself about an inch to a half of an inch on the other side of the blade. And... Uh, Hopefully this image is picking it up on the camera. So again, approach the edge. Okay, so here you can kind of see the result. All right, so I'm a big believer in the hanging hair test. So whenever I'm doing my, uh, whenever I'm doing my honing session and uh, trying to determine, you know, what's what can I expect from the edge, if it catches the hair and it violins the hair which is to say it catches the hair and tears it i would not expect to get a good shave if it catches the hair and pings and cuts through the hair clean i'm probably going to get a good shave probably and if it cuts clean through the hair silent slice the hair falls away almost guaranteed 100 percent of the time you're going to get a great shave from that edge. So in this case here, I take a gold dollar to a 12K, um, Nanima, Nanima 12K, and it was shaving fine. I, I find myself more or less enjoying natural stone edges as opposed to the synthetics, um, which is why I took it from this 12K to the blue uh, Thuringian just to see, you know, what could I expect in clearly I'm going to expect to get a good shave out of this razor. Uh, probably tame down some of the harshness from the um, the 12K synthetic, and I uh, get a really nice edge off of this uh, gold dollar. So, in summary, just posting this as a follow up, really, to the, the live feed that I did, and uh, showing you that you know my my experience with a hanging hair test is really an indicator, a good indicator of what you can anticipate uh, from an edge just based off of again does it violin or does it catch and ping or is it a silent slice and uh that silent slicer is going to be a, i think a really good edge we'll find out tomorrow anyway thanks for watching